So my, I finally figured it out, and this, there's no way, this is crazy. I'm only telling you this because now you might want to set something up. You can control it, but you have to go onto a desktop, go to your chat GPT, click your face, click notifications, and then there's a push, and then there is a, um, like a text thing or whatever. But way underneath is this tiny, tiny thing that says um, to stop. Like, you, I didn't see it. I went there over and over and over. Like, I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Well, then you click it, and then it has all your alerts spelled out for you right there. And then you can go up next to it and just hit delete, delete, delete. Piece of cake once you know what you're doing. And then in that heading, you can set up all the alerts you want. So you can have this thing tasked for you all day long right can there. Can you set the schedule? Like, yes. don't text yeah, you, after 8 you, p.m.? You can. Um, mine was just vague. You know, I just said, give me an alert. But it kept giving me the same information. There was nothing new. So it kept saying, well, there's nothing new, but here's the old information. I didn't want that. But um, I just found it to be verbally, so you could be on your phone and verbally set it up. It'll do it. So that was impressive, you know, but you got to learn how to control it. I think the biggest thing for me with chat GPT and AI is specificity. Yeah. That's the yeah. key. Yeah. is to be as specific as possible. Most of your frustrations come from you get this rapport like it's a person and you assume it's understanding. And you're right, it's not. It's not. It heard a vague thing and it will give you yeah. the broad stroke. 